Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see so that you can see my videos every single week. <laughs> okay, I bet you guys were not expecting today's video. Neither was I, bitch. Today I'm going to be trying popular skincare products from TikTok, the one we all know, the one we all love, the one we're all addicted to. I'm saying that in hopes that you're also addicted to it because I am very badly addicted to it. I've also seen a ton of popular skincare products showing up in videos, which first of all, I have to say, thank you to all creators on TikTok making content geared towards skincare, but then more knowledge about skincare that's being shared out there that happens year that I am. And I've been seeing a few skincare products coming up multiple times and I realized that some of these products have been really popular in the TikTok world. So I thought why not try them out and also tell you guys what my thoughts are on some of these products because some of them I absolutely love and some of them oof. She needs to go, in my not so humble opinion. Not all skincare is created equally. And there are ways that you can misuse skincare products to where they're actually hurting your skin instead of helping. And one of these products, I specifically want to declare a warning for everyone watching because some people are misusing this product and it's causing really severe long-term damage to their skin. And I think we all should know how to avoid that. So let's get into it. If you don't know me, I am a skincare specialist. That is the official title of my position at the skincare company that I work for. I am not, however, a licensed esthetician or a dermatologist nor do I ever ever claim to be or know more than either of them. If you do have any skin concerns, please go see your esthetician or dermatologist to get that shit treated. This is all just for fun and information's sake. So the first product I've been seeing a lot of people post about is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Now, I will admit I have used this product before. I bought one of those really big ones and I used the entire bottle, but I did not even realize, my dumb ass, that it comes in a fragrance-free formula. If you don't know my opinion on fragrance, I think it's completely unnecessary and should be avoided in skincare. Not only does it not offer any benefits to the skin when it's included in formulas. It also has a high irritation potential and it's just really not necessary and definitely one of the worst aspects of a skincare product that in my opinion should be left out. And I had no idea they had a fragrance free one so I'll be trying this one on camera. I know some of you regulars are probably really shocked that I'm actually using a skincare product on camera because you know how much I hate not being in my bathroom when I'm doing a skincare routine. But also the lighting in my bathroom sucks so I'm not gonna be filming in there. If you don't know, micellar waters are really great because they break away at the makeup and excess oil on the surface layer of your skin so that afterwards you can properly go in with a real cleanser and get all that shit out of your skin. For anyone who wears a lot of makeup, I think it's absolutely necessary that they go in with a first cleanse and micellar water, in my opinion, is a great first cleanse system because it'll be able to get away at some of that makeup and some of that dirt that usually a cleanser wouldn't be able to tackle on its own. And I also really like this formula because from what I can see, it's really good for sensitive skin. And not saying that I have sensitive skin but usually products aimed towards people with sensitive skin have really good formulas just because they're formulated without any potentially irritating ingredients and this one definitely measures up to that. Honestly, I really like the feel. Some micellar waters feel heavier than others and sometimes some have like a stinging sensation which I personally do not like whatsoever. Stinging and burning can leave the chat, thank you. But this one is really nice. I mean, it works well. It got rid of some of the translucent powder that I put on my face to make sure I'm not too shiny and it looks like it got some of the dirt as I'm seeing a little bit of black. Ugh. That's one thing about micellar waters that I think is so nasty. You see how much has built up on your face and it's a uh... It's scarring. But yeah, I like how it feels. I like that it also doesn't leave my skin overly greasy. You can kind of see that it's not too shiny. And overall, I think this is a good formula. Having previously used this one, but the version with fragrance, I would definitely opt to go for the fragrance-free formula. Or if you guys are also looking for a really good cleansing water that I personally enjoyed more than the Garnier one, I recommend the Bioderma Sensibio Micellar Cleansing Water. This one just works the best from what I've been able to find. And I know that you can't find it everywhere, but you can find it at some locations and if it is available where you're lo lo located, I highly recommend this shit. It's like my micellar crack. But honestly, both formulas work well and this one gets a pass from me. All right, moving on to the product that I have worked so hard to get my hands on. You guys would have no idea how hard I've worked to get this in this video. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really triggered, but this one took a lot of work. It's the Urban Skin RX Even Tone Cleansing Bar. This one, you guys have been tagging me in videos about this all day long on TikTok, on Instagram, all over. I literally have had this this product just slammed in my face 24 seven. And you know, the most frustrating part is that it's sold out like everywhere. I checked locations here in Hawaii. I checked locations in the mainland. I checked online. They were sold out until finally I was able to snatch this one as fast as possible to be able to try it for you guys. So don't say I didn't do anything for you. <laughs> this one is definitely a really unique cleanser of which that I haven't really seen the likes of 
before because it's in a physical formula and it comes with this little expandable loofah pad that you get wet rub in the formula and then rub it across your face to cleanse the skin. In the past, I have used this on clients before, so I am familiar with how it works. It kind of helps to foam products up and just evenly apply it across your face while doing a little bit of physical exfoliation, getting those dead skin cells off. Now I have used this on my hand before and I'm gonna use it on my face, but here's the thing guys. I really wrecked my moisture barrier this week. I was using a prescription grade retinoid and it was way too much for my skin and it just completely wrecked my skin. I'm talking burning, redness, sensitivity, and I've already postponed filming this video for two days because of that. So I'm hoping my skin will be okay, but for that reason, I'm only gonna cleanse right here because I am not about to have my skin peel off today, mama. Okay, so I have a little bit of water. Well, <laughs> a lot of water, okay. But I'm gonna try and not spill this as I pour on here. Okay, well that failed. Oop. Oh. Okay, that um will create a little puddle, but I got it wet enough. Ooh, that's kind of dripping. Kind of gonna squeeze it to make sure it disperses evenly. Let's get this in here. Okay, so right away I'm starting to see that it's foaming, which is really interesting to me because the first three ingredients are not foaming or cleansing agents. The only ingredient that I really see that would do that is the fourth ingredient called sodium hydroxide. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, okay, it's very gentle. It's very gentle on the skin. I don't really notice it foaming up too much. Uh, it's, dro <laughs> it's dripping, <laughs> trying to get it. I will say it's a lot more gentle than I expected. This is definitely like a really gentle process, which is a good thing because not gonna lie, when I first saw that these were included alongside with that, I was like, bitch, this is gonna be a scraping experience. It's gonna tear away at your skin. I'm not in the mood for that. But honestly, I don't know why I waited two days because this would have been like fine to use, so fuck me. But okay, I feel like I've cleansed my skin enough. I'm gonna go rinse this off and be right back. Woo, this made a mess. Okay, so I just rinsed it off and I have to say like, I'm not sure how I feel about this experience because my skin feels super, super sticky. Almost as if the product wasn't completely washed off and I don't wanna rinse my face anymore because I feel like my skin's already a little aggravated and I don't wanna aggravate it anymore. But overall, I think it's okay. In terms of ingredients, I honestly was pretty impressed looking at this product. Not only is it fragrance-free, but it's also formulated with safflower seed oil, glycerin, black tea, azelaic acid, niacinamide. These ingredients are so good for a bunch of different reasons, but particularly for brightening any dark spots or pigmentation on the face. The niacinamide, azelaic acid, urea, and alpha arbutin are all ingredients that are really good for that and ingredients that aren't commonly found in skincare products, let alone cleansers. So honestly, I was pretty impressed. The only thing, and this is honestly the kicker for this product, is that the second ingredient is palm oil. And here's the problem with palm oil. It is usually unsustainably sourced. In order to get palm oil, it usually requires a lot of deforestation in really sensitive areas like rainforests, which not only destroys those environments, but also contributes to a lot of big issues like climate change. And I did reach out to the company on their website to ask if it was sustainably sourced. And the reply was, was that that was confidential information as to how they sourced their ingredient and that I was supposed to reach out to their customer service team. I reached out two days ago and I haven't heard anything back since. Wah, wah, wah. Usually if a company sustainably sources their ingredients, they will be like over the top vocal about it because palm oil is one of those ingredients that's really difficult to find sustainable sourcing for. So. I take that as a pretty bad sign. The fourth ingredient is sodium hydroxide, which is a foaming cleansing agent, but it's a really poor quality cleansing agent. And it's only okay in my opinion, if it's at the end of an ingredient list or near the end, because it's so high up on the ingredient list, even higher than those good ingredients I was talking about, I'm kind of like, uh, which is why I would have to say this just isn't the best cleanser in my opinion. I think you could find a lot better ones out there. And while it's definitely a fun experience and I'm sure some of the active ingredients would be beneficial, I wouldn't exactly recommend it because of both the palm oil and the sodium hydroxide. Alternatives I would recommend, however, that have the most similar ingredient lists to this cleanser would be first the Paula's Choice Hydrolyte Facial Cleanser or the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser, which I've used the CeraVe one. I really like the results that I've seen in that. All right, next up is the most important product of this video. It's the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA solution. This one has been 
all over TikTok and I honestly am really happy to see it. I absolutely love The Ordinary. I love this product. I'm so glad it's getting the attention it deserves because in my opinion, this is such an underrated product or it has been underrated. I guess now it's getting really popular. This one is a face mask that you use for about 10 minutes and it has a high concentration of really good chemical exfoliants that just bulldoze off the dead skin cells off your face. Girl, it gets everything off. And when I say everything, I mean everything, bitch. It even gets rid of that night three weeks ago where you went to the club and got blackout drunk and then ended up sleeping in your makeup. Yeah, it's probably time for that to go. People love this one because when you put it on your face, it legit looks like you're smothering blood all over your face. And I love it. It brings out the emo in me. See how cool it looks? It's literally like blood. I don't know if you guys can see, but it literally looks like blood. And I already use this product regularly, so I'm not gonna use it in this video because I don't know why you guys would enjoy just staring at me with a bloody face. <laughs> and also I don't wanna get demonetized. But anyway, <laughs> but I do have a concern. A lot of people who are using this don't realize first how often you should be using it and second, what you need to be doing alongside of it. First off, I've been seeing people on TikTok recommend using this like three to five times a week. Absolutely not. I am here as an intervention. Do not use this product three to five times a week. At maximum, you should be using this once a week. This has really powerful ingredients that give you that satisfying before and after result, but you can really abuse your skin and cause long-term sensitivity and issues if you are going in with this too frequently. And that's the problem I'm seeing a lot. And as I've come to discover, a lot of people are using this mask multiple times a week. Please, please do not do this. I am here to tell you only use this once per week, no more. Secondly, if you are going to use this mask, you absolutely absolutely have to wear a sunscreen. When you use these products, they are helping to dissolve the dead skin cells away and revealing underneath more fresh baby new skin cells that are going to be really sensitive to sunlight. And you want to make sure you're protecting those skin cells from damage by using a sunscreen. And if you don't use a sunscreen, you're going to face even more issues than you were facing before had you not used this product or any other product like it. If you're new to my channel, hi, how are you? Wear a sunscreen every single day. That's like the message I'm constantly spreading. I don't care what your excuse is. It is necessary, otherwise don't use this product at all. Okay, okay. And then the last product I've seen is the Nivea cream. This bad boy has been around for a long time and I was really surprised when I did see it in my first TikTok reaction video. I'll link it down below, but I have been surprised to see how popular Nivea cream is on TikTok. I think it's because of the price point because I got this size for $9 and honestly, that's a lot of moisturizer for $9. But as far as the primary ingredients it has, it has mineral oil, petrolatum, microcrystalline max, paraffin, all of which are really a <laughs> all of which are really occlusive moisturizing ingredients. Essentially what all of those ingredients are gonna do are form a thick layer of moisture over your skin to make sure that you don't lose any water through your skin through a process called trans epidermal water loss. It's when we lose water through our skin and it results in dryness, aging, and sensitivity, which is what we want to avoid. However, this product is kind of like the base of the base standards for skincare in my opinion, because not only is it formulated with a lot of ingredients that yes, are technically good for skincare, it's not really comfortable comfortable using them. It tends to be really heavy on the skin and this is formulated with a lot of fragrance as well, of just which I'm not a fan of. But the main reason I get a little bit concerned when I see this going around on TikTok so much is that the majority of people I've seen recommending this cream are people who are younger and teenagers, for example. And while this can be an amazing moisturizer for dry skin, I would never recommend this moisturizer for oily skin because all of the ingredients that it's formulated with are really thick and heavy and honestly could cause negative reactions in anyone who does have more oily, acne-prone skin. Like even though I'm okay with some of the ingredients in here, my oily ass skin would never enjoy using this cream because I would immediately sweat it out or I would notice that it could lead to pore clogging issues. And if you are an oily prone or acne prone teenager, this could be one of those products that would definitely turn you off to skincare altogether because it's not the most enjoyable experience for that. And I think you can personally find a lot better products out there. In my opinion, a much better substitute for this would be the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I love this product because the ingredients are so freaking good. And even though it does deliver a lot of moisture, it doesn't feel crazy heavy on the skin, at least not as heavy as this would feel. And in my opinion, just has a lot better ingredients. Or if you're looking for something as cheap, but a little bit better for more combination to oily skin or something just not as heavy on the face, I recommend the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion because it has 
has similar ingredients, but in my opinion, a better formula. It's fragrance free and it won't feel as heavy on the skin. Wow, I think I got all of my thoughts out. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm interested to know what your guys' opinions are on each of these products. And if you like the Urban Skin Cleansing Bar or the Ordinary Mask, I really wanna hear, let me know. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on TikTok so that you can see the content I, that I create there. And if you do see anything that you're interested to hear my opinion on, feel free to tag me on TikTok because I see a lot of your notifications there. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you in the next video.